Chad Ochocinco. He said, all I've ever eaten is McDonald's. And he's still Chad Ochocinco. He's like 57 years old. He goes, oh, I eat McDonald's to this day. That's just some genetic shit that he got. You're not that dude. You ain't Chad Ochocinco, Luka Doncic. You need to get on that paleo, intermittent fasting or some shit. Rewind. It is that time of the year, my favorite time of the year. I told my wife, I said, get ready. Get ready. Because it's NBA playoff time. And that first round of the NBA playoffs, I believe, games every single, it's like three weeks, four weeks, games every night. Not just regular, regular games. Playoff basketball 2023, there can only be one, one champion, and it starts with the play-in tournament. And let me tell you something. I, I, I don't know how the NBA player, the NBA players actually feel about the play-in tournament, but you should be so thankful that some of you motherfuckers aren't down there in Cancun hanging out with the Love is Blind cast. Okay? Because the fact that you can lose... The seventh and eighth seed game, lose it, and then get another chance to make it into the playoffs. You should be kissing, sucking, and thinking that little Adam Silver every single time you see him. You know, in, in uh, the playoffs, you know who's already down there in Cancun hanging out with the Love is Blind cast? Dallas Mavericks. The Dallas, Maverick, Dallas Mavericks have been eliminated from the playoffs. They went from a four seed. They went from having an MVP candidate to having a guy who is miserable playing basketball, Luka Doncic. Kyrie came to town, and it's been <laughs> ever since. Said it once, said it many times before. Love the Dallas Mavericks. Support the Dallas Mavericks will always have a place in my heart for the Dallas Mavericks, that team that beat the LeBron James Miami Heat team, and just the culture of the Dallas Mavericks, Mark Cuban and all that stuff. But something, 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 something just ain't right, to quote the great Keith Sweat. They messed up with Jalen Brunson, and they messed up bringing in Kyrie Irving, and the curse of Kyrie Irving has taken over Dallas. They ain't in the play-in. They ain't in the playoffs. They're with the play with themselves. They're done. And yes, I blame Kyrie. Everywhere he goes, this is what happens. Something, something bad happens. Be it Cleveland, be it Boston, be it Brooklyn. That's three teams. I think that Kyrie Irving doesn't give a shit about the teams he plays for. I think this is what I think. I think that Kyrie Irving looks at it like, yo, this is just a job, and they're paying me. And that doesn't mean that Kyrie Irving, Kyrie Irving isn't a great philanthropist. doesn't mean that he doesn't donate a lot of money to a tons of great, great charities. But to me, it's like I could say on behalf of an actor, I could say on my job and what I do. There's been jobs, there's been gigs I, I, I've taken where I'm like, I'm just doing this for the money. Straight up. I'm not going to say what they were, when they were, or what kind of things they were, but you'll just go there and you're like, yo, I'm just getting this fucking money. I think Kyrie Irving, in a lot of ways, I think he doesn't like the working for other people. I think he feels like he, 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 he doesn't like to be, uh, uh, um, you know, an employee. I think he feels like his value... And that some of it is right. But I think he thinks that his value and, 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 and what the stars of the NBA get, they don't deserve. Listen, this is the way it works. You ain't an owner of a team. You're never going to be an owner of a team, Kyrie Irving, based on all the shit you've said. Again, doesn't mean that Kyrie Irving isn't good-hearted. Doesn't mean that Kyrie Irving doesn't do a lot of great things for a lot of people, donates a lot of money. But I think he resents playing for any team. I think he looks at it like, you know, I'm working for them. I'm working for the man. I'm Fuck them. We're the stars. And a lot of it is right, but you ain't the owner. So I think he looks at going from team to team as a gig. And yeah, he wants to win. He's competitive. 
And yeah, we know he's sick. We know he's talented. We know all those things. But this is the third team in a row that this bullshit has happened to. The Boston, and these aren't some bullshit franchises with bum-ass players. You're not in Orlando playing with a bunch of scrubs. You were in Cleveland. You were in Boston. Great franchise with other all-stars. And then you were playing with two of the other best players in the NBA. And now you go to, there's four teams. Yo, it's, it's on him. Not to say that it's not on Jason Kidd, not to say that it's not on the other personnel, but you go from being the fourth seed to being out of the playoffs. The Nets lost Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving and still had the grit and toughness to maintain an identity, fight for an identity, and they're in the playoffs, and the Dallas Mavericks ain't. That shit is on Kyrie Irving. Anyway, playoffs are this. In the East, we have the one seed, uh, uh, through the sixth seed. I'll read them off. Milwaukee Bucks, Boston Celtics, Philadelphia 76ers, Cleveland Cavaliers are playing the New York Knicks, and the Brooklyn Nets are the sixth seed. They lost Kyrie and KD, and they are still the sixth seed. Sixers play the Nets, and the Cavs play the Knicks. Like I said, those are going to be fun, long series. I'm going to make my predictions when that time comes, we ain't talking about the playoffs now. We're talking about the play in. The play in tournament is the number seven seed, Miami Heat. Shout out to Adonis Haslam, scored like 74 points the other night in his last game, regular season game as a Miami Heat player. They might need him in the playoffs if they make the playoffs. Eight seed is Atlanta Hawks, fought, scratched to make it into the play in. They were able to do it, they fired their coach. They didn't make any trades. They didn't get one of the best point guards ever in Kyrie Irving. And they still were able to claw back and make it to the eighth seed, respectable eighth seed. The ninth seed is the Raptors. The tenth seed is the Chicago Bulls. The play-in tournament starts Tuesday night. Up first, Atlanta versus Miami. Miami has beat Atlanta three of the last four times. I also still think Atlanta is deeper. No, Bruno. And I think they're going to win this game. But I would not be surprised if Miami out physicals them. No Bruno. The Heat just have a problem scoring the basketball, which I don't care what level you're playing at. If you can't put the ball in the basket and put points on the board, you are in trouble. The loser of this game, the loser of the Miami Heat Atlanta Hawks game plays the winner of the Bulls Raptors game. So you get two chances to make it into the playoffs, which is crazy to me. But you get it in the NBA. You can lose and still make it into the playoffs. So the Raptors are playing the Chicago Bulls. Personally, I think the Toronto Raptors, they've checked out. I think Nick Nurse is ready to make a change. I'm taking the Chicago Bulls in a tight one. Then if they have to face Atlanta or Miami on the road, I'll take the home team. The seventh Seed goes to Atlanta, and the eighth seed goes to Miami, who faces off against the Milwaukee Bucks. Good luck with that shit. Good luck with that shit on the West. Right now, it's done. Denver Nuggets, one seed. Memphis Grizzlies, two seed. Three seed goes to the Sacramento Kings. Fourth seed goes to Phoenix. Fifth seed goes to the L.A. Clippers. And the sixth seed goes to the Golden State Warriors. See, a culture of winning. They fought, they clawed, they scratched, they still got a six seed. Dallas Mavericks, they know nothing about this. And I blame you also, Luca. Luca, you gotta get off the Taco Bell, the fucking chipwich sandwiches, the, the hot chip. You're not built that way, Duke. You, you, you're not like uh, um like one of these dudes. Who's that fucking guy on, on, on the Seattle Seahawks, the, the wide receiver? He talks about all he eats is candy. You're not one of them dudes that could just eat candy and shit. You're white. We can't do that. I don't give a fuck where you're from. Lithuania, Croatia, wherever the fuck you're from. You're never going to be like one of these white athletes, Kevin Love, Larry Bird, Steve. Like, yo, all I do is eat M&Ms. That shit don't work. I don't give a fuck where you're from. You, you see these some of these athletes, they'll t- Chad Ochocinco. He said, all I've ever eaten is McDonald's. And he's still Chad Ochocinco. He's like 57 years old. He goes, oh, I eat McDonald's to this day. That's just some genetic shit that he got. You're not that dude. You ain't Chad Ochocinco, Luka Doncic. You need to get on that paleo. 
intermittent fasting or some shit. I'm a fan. Anyway, the Kings are playing the Warriors and the Suns are playing the Clippers. Either Kawhi Leonard or Kevin Durant ain't making it out of the first round. And I love it. Oh, my God. Oh, that's going to be good. That is going to be good. I'm going to make my full predictions on that when we get there. But the play-in tournament, again, starts Tuesday night. The seventh seed Los Angeles Lakers play the Minnesota Timberwolves, who have imploded. Rudy Gobert, you tried to punch my man, friend of the I Am Rappaport from, uh, uh, from Jersey. Kyle Anderson tried to mush him. I don't know what to, but yo, Rudy Gobert's arm is crazy long. You see when he tried to push him, like he went a- across three people and did that shit. That's that seven foot two French shit. <laughs> then their best defender, McDaniels, Jaden McDaniels, gets kicked out of the game and punches a wall and breaks his fucking hand. You dummy. So we got the Lakers playing the Minnesota Timberwolves. The Lakers are going to beat their asses. And the winner of that series gets to face the Memphis Grizzlies, and I am rooting for the Lakers and LeBron James to beat the Memphis Grizzlies. I said it. There, I said it. But I'm not making predictions on that until we get there. The nine seed is the Pelicans, who are playing the Oklahoma City Thunder. The Pelicans have beaten the Young Thunder three of four this year. But OKC... They could win this game. It's going to be tight. It's going to be tough. I would love to see the Thunder win, but New Orleans, is, it's going to be tough. New Orleans, is, again, Zion's been out almost the entire season. The entire season. Fought, clawed, scratched to get back. The playing is here. The NBA playoffs are here. Love is blind. Season four is up. It's a great time of the year. Spring is here. I'm on the road. I'm being Jersey. I'm being Illadelph. I'm being Houston. And I'm rooting for the, the Los Angeles Lakers to beat the Minnesota Timberwolves and then beat the shit out of Ja Morant, Dylan Brooks, and the most unlikable team outside of Memphis, the Memphis Grizzlies. I'm done. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel. Not a YouTube page, it's my YouTube channel. Some might even call it a YouTube experience. Leave a comment, ask a question. Uh, uh, tell a friend to tell a friend, but leave a comment and ask me a question because I read them all and I might, might, I might answer back. Thank you.